Welcome to the One God Report podcast. The title of this episode is Trinitarian, Do You Love God's Child, the Person Who Believes That Jesus Is the Christ? Comments on the first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 1. Before we get to the comments on 1 John 5, 1, I wanted to just make a couple of announcements. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the short three-minute video on the Bill Schlegel YouTube channel. I hope to make more like this one that should challenge a deity of Christ believer to take a fresh look at the scriptures. For example, this video is on 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 4 and 5, which states very clearly that there is one God and one mediator between God and men, a man, Christ Jesus. And there are so many scriptures that I know as a Trinitarian deity of Christ believer, I just sort of read over or because of my presuppositions, I didn't really stop and think what it really means. But the scriptures conflict with the idea that God is a trinity or that Jesus is God. And there are so many scriptures that state clearly that Jesus is the Messiah, a man, a human person that died and was raised from the dead. So I hope to make some two or three minute videos that mention these verses. And the video could be helpful if you want to share it with other friends who are Trinitarians, deity of Christ believers. It'd be good if you could subscribe to that video channel. The more subscribers, the more people end up running across it in their feed. And also, just to put in a plug for my friend Dustin Smith, he's created now some shorter videos, which I think are as well challenging for the typical deity of Christ believer. For instance, one of the videos that he made on his Biblical Unitarian Podcast YouTube channel, is called, Where is the Trinity Revealed in the Bible? And he he looks at the appearances of the word God in the scripture, and there are over 12,000 of them in the Old Testament, New Testament, all the different names and titles for God. And not one time does the Bible say that God is a trinity. I like to say it this way, the Trinitarian has to end up believing something like this. The God of the Bible is a trinity, but in the Bible, God is never a trinity. So check out Dustin's videos as well, and I think they can be challenging for friends and also edifying for the one God or biblical Unitarian believer. So now let's get to our comments on 1 John chapter 5, verse 1. 1 John 5 was especially significant for our family several years ago when I was coming to understand that God is one and that Jesus is God's human Messiah. My wife points out the irony in the fact that while Trinitarians often go to the Gospel of John and the Epistle of 1 John for presumed evidences of the deity of Jesus, it was these two books of the Bible that showed us that God is one person and that Jesus is God's designated human Messiah, or Christ. Here's 1 John 5.1. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves whomever has been born of him. Now how tragic that people who believe that Jesus is God condemn those who believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah. The deity of Christ believers say that unless you believe that Jesus is God, you are denying Christ. What a strange twist of Scripture. The Scripture says that anyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, that person is born of God. The scriptures do not say that you are born of God if you believe that Jesus is God, right? 1 John 5, 1 doesn't say, everyone who believes that Jesus is God has been born of God. It doesn't say, everyone who believes that Jesus is a God-man is born of God. 1 John 5, 1 doesn't say, everyone that believes that Jesus is co-eternal or pre-existing and co-equal to God the Father, that person's born of God. 
No, it doesn't say that. First John 5, 1 doesn't say everyone who believes that Jesus is the same substance as God. That person is born of God. No, it doesn't say that everyone who believes that Jesus is one person of a trinity in a Godhead is born of God. It doesn't say that everyone who believes that Jesus is God who dressed up or came to earth in human flesh is born of God. No. All of these ideas are human inventions, and we should not cling to human inventions while abandoning God, our Father's revelation of himself, and his testimony that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah. We don't want to call God a liar by twisting or distorting what God said, or by claiming God said something he didn't say. If God in the scriptures has testified that Jesus is his Christ, are you calling God a liar and telling God you know better by insisting that Jesus is God? In short, Scriptures like 1 John do not say you are born of God by believing that Jesus is God or believing that Jesus is a God-man. You are born of God if you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah of God. If believing that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, does not mean that Jesus is God, what does Jesus is the Christ mean? We can't just make up our own definition of what Christ means and say, if you don't believe our definition of Christ, you're denying Christ. No, we need to understand and accept the biblical definition of what Christ, Messiah, Mashiach means. Are you changing the biblical meaning of Christ, Messiah, by claiming the deity of Messiah, the deity of Christ? It seems to me that many Christians think that Christ is a title for God, not in the Bible. But before looking closer at the title of Christ, or Messiah, consider first the name Jesus. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is is the name of the human person born in Bethlehem of Judea some 2,000 years ago. Yes, Jesus was born. He was circumcised. By the way, his name was given to him when he was circumcised. And he was a child who grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God. See Luke 2.52. Jesus is not the name of a preexistent person of an eternal Godhead. This human Jesus, a descendant of King David, is the Christ, Messiah. As I said, many people seem to think that Christ is a title for deity. It most definitely is not. Christ, Messiah, is never, never, ever God in the Bible. To make Christ a title of deity is a perversion of Scripture. Christ, in Hebrew, Mashiach, Messiah, means anointed. Grammatically, the word is an adjective with a passive sense. One who is anointed has been acted upon by someone else. The one doing the anointing is not the anointed. In the Bible, God is the anointer. And the one whom God has anointed is the Christ, the Mashiach, the Messiah. The anointer, God, is not the anointed, Christ. To be anointed meant to be chosen by God for a specific role or task. The Persian king Cyrus was anointed by God as Mashiach, as Christ, for the role of restoring God's people to their land. Isaiah 45, 1. Aaron and his descendants were anointed to serve God as priests. Exodus 28, 31 and 30, 30. King Saul was anointed by God to be Israel's first king. David and his descendants were selected 
and designated, that is, anointed by God, yes, through human agents, but anointed by God to be king. See the show notes for references. This is the essence of what Christ, Messiah, Mashiach means. To be the God-chosen, the God-designated, God-equipped, human priest or king. To believe that Jesus is the Christ means to believe that Jesus is a human being anointed by God. The Christ, the Messiah, in the Bible can't be God, because it is God who chose and anointed the Christ. The Christ, Messiah, can't be God, because in the New Testament, the Christ was put to death by crucifixion. God does not die. In the Bible, Jesus is the Christ of God, never the Christ who is God. A couple of examples. First Luke chapter 9, verse 20. Jesus said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, The Christ of God. Unquote. Then Acts 3.18, Peter again says, But what God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ should suffer, he thus fulfilled. Now also a couple of comments on the Son of God, another title for Jesus the Messiah. This same human Jesus, who is the Christ, is the Son of God. See 1 John 5.5, 5, for instance. While there are other human sons of God in the Bible, see the show notes for references, Son of God is a title which came to be parallel to, and in many ways synonymous with Mashiach, Messiah, Christ. The anointed human king, descended from David, is the Son of God. Son of God does not mean God the Son. There is no God the Son in the Bible. The title, God the Son, is an invention of the human mind. God is not a son. You can see the video called Son of God in the Bible for more details. The link is in the show notes. So, do you love God's child? Do you love the father of God's child? 1 John 5, 1 says that the person who believes that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, has been born of God. And if you love God, you will love the person, God's child, who has been born of God, the person who believes that Jesus is the Christ. If you do not love that person, or shun, or reject that person, or call that person a heretic, or say that person has denied Christ. The implication is that you do not love the Father, that is, God. Because whoever loves God, the Father, loves God's child, who is born of God. Let me repeat that. If you reject as a heretic someone who believes that Jesus is the Christ, the Mashiach. The implication is that you do not love God, the father of that person. Let me give a personal example. If you are a pastor of a church or a church member, and someone tells you that they believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Christ, but not literally God, would you condemn that person and tell his wife that her husband is a dangerous heretic, sowing discord in his family? If you would do that, 1 John 5, 1 is pretty clear. You don't love God, the father of that person. More generally speaking, do you love God's child? Do you love the person born of God who believes that Jesus is the Messiah, if you don't love the person born of God, but condemn them and shun them and call him or her a heretic, 
Take a look at 1 John 5, 1. Perhaps you don't love the Father the way you think you do. This is Bill Schlegel for the One God Report podcast. If you enjoy the podcast, please rate it and write a review on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. That will help others to find us and share the podcast on social media. For constructive discussion, you are welcome to join the One God Report Facebook group. Yishma'u anavim ve'yishma'u. The humble will hear and rejoice.